right, we are here with Dan O'Shannon, Academy Award winning. No, I didn't win one. I was nominated for one. Go on. Awkward. Very. <clears throat> we are here with Dan O'Shannon, who at one time they thought about giving him an Emmy or Academy. Oh, Emmy. I, I, I got Emmys like crazy. Oh. Oh, yeah, my home's like a hazard in a lightning storm. Crazy. But no Oscars. No Oscars. No Oscars. Not, not a one. Well, wait till this is done. <laughs> wow! We are here with Dan O'Shannon, who is a writer, producer, known for Modern Family, Frasier, New Heart, and of course Cheers, where Woody Harrelson was on, um, one of my personal favorite actors. But anyway, uh, and I'm assuming you probably like to read scripts every now and then, right? I sure used to. All right. <laughs> That's I'll just. Set that there. Oh, so what's that? What's this now? My uh, yeah, it's oh, something. Oh, I'm sure that'll. Yeah, yeah no, it's something no. I've been working on. It's like a coming um, of age. Yeah, type. yeah. Maybe uh, you could send that uh, to. Uh, I can give you an address. Really? Of somebody who might know where to send that. That would be that great. Would, uh, may or may not. Probably not. Definitely won't get back to you. All right. Okay. But yeah, no, that's great. That's great. Okay. So what are we doing here at IC? We are lucky here at the Park School to say Dan O'Shannon has come to visit us for a few weeks. Tell us a little bit about what you uh, what you've been up to. Well, uh, you know, I, I uh, since the pandemic, I haven't really written on any shows. I don't have any plans to write on any shows. And my friend Jack Powers, the interim dean here, he makes me say interim. Uh, he's got one foot out the door. That's why he's basically phoning in his job, really, is how, what that comes down to. Mm. Uh, called me up and said, look, would you mind coming and talking to the students? And, of course, I love students, so I said no. And then he told me how much he'd pay. Here I am. I like to give advice, like, how to create characters or how to not sort of ambush someone with their spec script or, or you know, uh, stuff like that. So that's very helpful to the young writer. Right. I remember you said, you know, actors bring life to the character. Mm -hmm. And then the, the writer kind of gets inspired by that and then builds on that. Right. Um, so with that being said, how much of that applied to uh, Woody Harrelson's character, Woody? Woody, uh, obviously you're a big, big fan of Woody. Uh, and he's, yeah, yeah. He's extremely, big. yeah, you know, he's, he's very, very talented. And on Cheers, he played someone who's very naive, mm -hmm. uh, very sweet, and, in, and you know it's a good acting job because in real life he's very, very sharp and he's very passionate about the things that he, he believes in. Yeah. And he's very curious about the world and insanely talented. But uh, uh, there was actually, I don't want to say it was a, a sort of narrow part for him to play, but he just did it beautifully for those years. And I, I'm glad that he's branched out and, and shown everybody what he can do. Yeah, he really has. Would you say you have his phone number in yourself? I, would, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that because I don't. Uh, he's, I'm sure that he's... But you could probably, you could get it. If you oh, well. Uh, so you grew up in Painesville, Ohio. Uh, Let's be honest, Painesville, Ohio, not really the center of the entertainment world. Not how anymore. Not so anymore. Since I left. Ooh, it's gone down okay, yeah. How did you, what made you want to start writing and producing, and how did you get there from Painesville, Ohio? Well, that's a very interesting story. Around the time I was 17 or 18, I started becoming kind of funny enough that people were starting to notice, and then I... I dropped out of college because I, I, I wanted to write TV shows, and back then there was no internet. There was no way to Google how do you become a TV writer. I mean, you could try it on your typewriter, but nothing would come up. Um, and then um, the teachers there, how do you become a TV writer? Yeah, you're right. That's a lot of that. So I dropped out. I did stand up for a while, and then uh, that taught me a little bit about joke writing and audiences and that sort of thing. And then I, I flew my way out to Los Angeles because I had no contacts and uh, had a hundred bucks in my pocket. I left a note on the kitchen table and. Went out there and stayed on a guy's couch for a year, and uh, eventually I met someone who knew someone who was writing for TV and told me how you write a spec script, now that you would know anything about that. And uh, I borrowed a manual typewriter in which the space key did not always work, and then I was able to uh, tap out my first script. He gave me notes, I did better, he hired me for something, and here we are. That friend's couch, and it wasn't Woody Harrelson's couch. No, no, you know, strangely, I didn't actually even really meet him until Cheers. And then after Cheers, I never saw him again, actually. I never saw him. I saw him once, but I never really saw him again. So not in touch, not good friends with Woody Harrelson. He and I are not pals, is what I'm saying. You're not? You're no, not? No, no. Like, you have no... No real connection to him at all. I don't know that he would remember me if you said my name. Yeah. Well, this interview just got boring. Um, all right. Well, I guess I'll finish. Uh... Therapy made you a better writer. 
I think so. Or they may be better equipped to handle being a poor writer, either way. Okay. <laughs> You know, when I first started, all I wanted to do, I mean, you think, all right, comedy, so you write funny stuff. So mm. you get characters saying and doing funny things, get the laugh, ha, ha, ha. But as I started going into therapy myself in my late 20s, you know, if I'm upset about this thing in the present, it might be about something in the past. And my relationships might be repeating themselves because of whatever patterns in my life, blah, blah, blah. I began to motivate their comedic behavior based on what I imagined they must be feeling inside and trying to hide, da, 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 all that. And I found that the characters became much richer and the jokes became much better. I think, I hope. And you seriously don't know Woody? I seriously, I saw him once at a Ralph's supermarket one time after the end of Cheers, about five years after the end of Cheers. I saw him, he didn't see me, and that was it. He was. Did he, he wait? He didn't wait because he didn't see me. I, and he, uh, I don't, I could, I would, can't even tell you what was in his cart. Uh, but I, but that was the only time I saw him since Cheers. Mm -hmm. I hadn't seen him. Maybe if you had stayed in touch with him, you would have known what was in his cart. But I didn't. Know. If you, if you could give a message to the Park students that are that want to be TV and 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 film writers, uh, the landscape has changed a bit. Do you have any advice? I do. Oh, do you want it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, people like me went to Los Angeles with no idea what to do, and then you would find out, oh, you start writing this and that, and you tap away on a typewriter, and you'd eventually write your stuff and get seen. Uh, but that is because technology was very different then. There, like I said, there was no Google, no internet, no digital technology. You couldn't get your hands on it. To, to get something that would film something, you'd get like a Super 8 camera that might or might not have sound. Um, but now, with, with technology being so available to everyone, you have the chance, and, and with you know, YouTube and streaming technology, you, as students here, can start to create actual product. You don't just have to be thinking about in terms of, I'm going to write a script. You can be, if, if you want to be a writer and you have no interest in direction or production, find someone at the school who is interested in those things. Get to know them. Show them your work. Get them interested in your work. Create stuff. Create all your, you know, shoot all your bad scripts. Shoot all your good scripts. You know, you, what you're going to do is you're going to just create, like, you're going to do all your stuff that nobody really wants to see, and then, uh, and then eventually you'll create a body of work that, when you get to Los Angeles, you're not just there empty-handed. You've got stuff you can show them, perhaps you have followers, you've got experience, and you've got something to bring to the table right away. Well, that, I mean, I couldn't have said it any better. I believe that. And, and that is true. With technology, you probably could look up people that you used to be in contact with and get their phone numbers and give them to people that want them. But, or, or not. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. we're here. Dan O'Shaughnessy. Shannon. Shannon. Amazing interview here at the Park School. We are so lucky to have him. Dan, thank you for your time. You. And um, I mean, I I looked up to you. Um, I still do, but uh, I, I thank you and I appreciate you taking my script. And enjoy that. And uh, if you need anything, right. let us know, okay? All right. Great. Great. Thank you.